Alright, hello, and welcome back to Treaker, The Lost Glasses. Oh god, forgot to set down my... turn down my sensitivity. Oh Jesus, that was so fast. Uh, it turns out I was correct about the... Oh, there was a tree. I thought that was a man or something I saw in my... in the corner of my eye. Uh, it turns out I was probably right about these. These are probably checkpoints. I guess we can try that, so if I just walk over to this one, and while we walk, I can, uh, yeah, I can also say that for some reason, V-Sync had managed to sneak its way aboard again, even though I specifically said it to not have V-Sync on for the first episode, but apparently I must have messed up somehow, or pressed a, an up or down key and made it so that V-Sync was on, because it was never above 60 and it dropped frequently and stuff, but now I just turned it off and now it's like 120 to 160 even when I'm recording, which is great, and hopefully nothing else will go wrong, hopefully the frame rate will be stable, we'll see, I guess, hopefully, fingers crossed, hope, hope, hope. So, right here, let's see if now, now I'm here, am I saved here? So if I just go and kill myself, like this... I am right here, at this thing. Okay, so I think that's how they work. Kinda strange though, because you'd think you'd have some sort of... visual or audio notification, some, some tell, like it flashing, or maybe making a boop sound, or... Anything just to indicate that, hey, you actually trigger this and you're now at a new checkpoint. But, I guess not. Uh, was I saying something else? No, I think I'm, I'm done with the intro part. So, I guess we'll just go up to the lighthouse and or windmill and or bridge and or... Is that even a bridge? That would be, uh... God, let me pass. What would that be? What would you call that? I want to say dock, but I don't don't think that's right. I mean, it's it's like a pier, but it's not. I don't know. What would you call that? Where like an airship would dock or something? Guess it's just a dock. Who knows? What am I even talking about? Let's just carry on up here. There's a stone. Don't want to fall. So apparently you just die. Aquarium music again. And a checkpoint. That's good. Alright, I just need to adjust my microphone. One sec. The light far away will show you the correct symbol. Three panels. One symbol is correct for each of them. Activate all at the same time. Okay, hold on. Let me think about this again. Light far away is the correct symbol. Three panels. One is correct for each. Okay. Don't quite know what that means, but alright. What's this? Wait. Oh! Huh. So that is something. Pressing on this makes a boop sound but I don't know what happens with it. And over here, I don't think there's anything here, so I probably shouldn't just dive to my death. Windmill thing, or I guess wind turbine? I don't know. Doesn't seem to have anything specific about it. Light far away? Hmm. Oh! Oh right, of course, I should be using my glasses more, so now this is something. Interact. I can turn... Oh! Wait. That's a light. Oh, it's blinking! Short, short. Short, long? Short, long. Short, long. So, what does that mean? Now I turn it to this one. And now it's just spinning. 
And it just keeps going short long. And... Wait, how... what? It should be this one, but how do I... Oh, I see. Okay, so I just have to wait for... Which one is it? Uh, is it this one? This one coming up, I think? There. No? If I interact now? No, it's still doing the same thing. That's definitely short long. Right? So I press it there. Hmm. I guess I just leave it like this, maybe. Do I have to find more of these? Oh, there's more stones here as well, in this dimension. Alright, so let's read that as well. Three panels, one symbol is correct for each of them. Yeah, it does say that. Activate all at the same time. So I have activated this one, I just need to find two more, I guess. Harry Potter music! I didn't even realize that while I was playing it last time, but this really sounds like the Harry Potter theme. The three panels are here, around the lighthouse. Okay, so I need to find them. There's one. See that? And I think that might be one up there. Or that might be the entrance to the lighthouse. I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. Gotta keep switching on and off just in case something is different, I guess. Gonna be a lot of flashing in this Let's Play. Alright, another checkpoint, more of these things. Sometimes there's only weak connections between dimensions, making the physical presence unpredictable. So, these are just going to be falling platforms, I guess. You jump on them and they fall. Right? Maybe? I don't know. But I'll wait for that for now. Try using the lens when you are not sure where to go. Yeah, thanks. I... I got it. Oh, God. Oh. Getting stuck on things. Align the symbol with the gear, interact again, and you can choose another symbol. If you mess up, you mean? Is that it? So I do this, now it's... Long, short, short. And that is... This one, the L. Like that. And anything over here? Nope, nothing there. And nothing on the other side. I bet the other thingy is going to be up here, so I have to make that jumping thing. No, nope, never mind. Okay, it's right here. Can I read this? Yeah, this is here in both dimensions. The lighthouse door is locked. If you can see the light with no lens, the access to the cave will be granted in this dimension. I see. So, yeah, I'm bringing the light into this dimension, maybe. Maybe? I, I don't know. Oh. Nothing here. Alright. Okay, final one, maybe. Short, short. And that's the weird one. There it is. Yay, I did it, hooray! And now?
Sorry, what? Oh! Oh! I thought I was watching a cutscene, but no. I'm done. So I still can't get into the lighthouse, but now the cave is open, apparently. Which I guess is this way? Maybe? Alright, well, let's head down. Well, this is a classic. Wait, did I even read that? I think... Oh, what? Wait. Oh, I see, it's behind me. Tracing the lens, yeah. And now these are not immaterial. I see, so it was just a uh, progression lock kind of thing. Like, you had to had to complete this before these were jumpable in this dimension, I guess. So if I had tried to jump on them, I would have just fallen to my death, I suppose. But now, it's all good. I can hop along. Oh, God. There we go. Stage one complete, I guess. Whoa. Whoa. That's very weird. Dramatic lighting effects. Changing from going inside a cave, or being inside a cave and going outside. I wonder if I'm going to get to all of this. I would imagine so, but we'll see. Oh! Oh, damn, that almost scared me. So checkpoint here. That effect is very strange. I kind of like it, though, but it is very jarring. Just checking all the windows. Oh, this one doesn't act the same way. This one is apparently cave all the way through, even to the, the very edge. Alright, that's kind of weird. I wonder what would have happened if I just jumped over the edge here and just climbed down. Shortcut, I guess? I'm not really sprinting around because I'm trying to be observant about what's around me and stuff. The platforms above will grant you access to the other islands. Okay, yeah, sure. Not really any difference when I use those. Oh, oh, invisible walls. Ah, damn, I guess that's what, what would have happened if I jumped over there. I couldn't. Didn't think this game had invisible walls. Everything seemed very open. And just, you know, the whole death by freezing mechanic is sort of what keeps these sections separated. So, I don't know if you need to have a bunch of invisible walls, but maybe there would probably be a bunch of sequence breaking stuff if you didn't. Like, you could jump up this rock and stuff. Blue is safe. Red is fake. Prepare to move with a white one. Okay. Alright. That doesn't sound... Wait. Move with the white one. That's the platforms, right? But what's with the moon and sun? I want to say this the right way because this is red and this is blue, but I don't know, that might not make any sense. I feel like I should just explore a bit. Gear. Sun. Alright, what's this? I can't move, and I'm being taken up into the skies. Can I go back down, though? 
I guess I have to do something at each one of these, so it doesn't really matter which order I do them in. Maybe. Yeah, I probably have to activate all three of these, is what I would think. Right? So? Move with the white one. Don't know what that means. Oh, right, I have to do this. I forgot about that. So, there's a thing to read up here. Let's check that out. It's not that hard to defy gravity. You only need to manipulate some forces. Don't know what that means, but I'll take your word for it. So, I drop down here and then go to the white one. Alright. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. There we go. And there we are. Some basic jumping puzzles. Nothing too bad so far. And straight across... Oh, never mind. Well, kind of straight across. Interact. Bloop. Oh, again, I felt like I was watching a cutscene, but I wasn't. I'm already done. What does this say? This island is our way in, but not your way out. What? Is that some sort of otherworldly... demons? Oh god! Level 2! World 2! Um... The sun burns high up in, in the sky. At least that's how it appears from here. Huh. Can I go back? Oh dear, I can't go back. Oh dear. Oh, it's... I see, I'm not in a different dimension, I'm just teleported. Well, I guess I gotta do this then. Can't really argue against this. I wanna try this. Oh, okay. Yeah thought as much. Well, actually I thought I would fall all the way down and then just land and crash my lens, but apparently not. Alright, some more simple jumping. I should be using this, because you never know. What's with this platform? Why is this even here? Man, this is very confusing. Not really confusing, but just... I feel like I should have done so much more back there. But... Hopefully we'll get back there? You can't actually see this entire island, but the symbols will take you where you need. What does that mean? I can jump up here... So if I go in this, I'll just get transported? Oh! What now? I was transported up from there, but... Why? When I could just jump up? Yeah, this is where I came from. Right? Oh. I gotta try this. Secrets? Secrets? I don't know if there are any secrets in this game. I doubt it. I probably just fucked myself. Yeah. Alright.
So, let's go this way instead. Floating only means it's not attracted by the local gravity. What does that mean? Some vague attempt at explaining floating islands, I guess? That they're... There's some greater force working upon them. Maybe. Well, thanks for the, uh, lore, I suppose. Alright. Checkpoint here. I don't think I can jump across this. Definitely not. And just another teleporter. Yeah, I guess now I can see the, the use with them, because you actually do need to go into them to get to the next area. It just seemed very strange at first. Like it saved you ten steps and nothing more. But this time, do I really want to go into this? Ah... Uh, I guess I will. Where am I? I think I was taken back. Yeah, okay, so let's check this out. So it's like, uh... What this reminds me of is uh, in Diablo 2, the Arcane Sanctuary, or whatever it's called, where you go into teleporters and they take you to a random other one and you have to figure out which one takes you to the forward location and all that. So if I just do this... Yeah, I'm just back here. Alright. So that one is... A trick! A trap! A troll! Yeah, the one thing I'll say is that I really wish the music was a bit more... expansive. I like the, the effect it has, where it's... very fleeting and just... a few bars here and there sort of for atmosphere, but the music is so good, I would have loved to have more of it. Hi. A starlight. Wait. A, a starlight sometimes can tricky the... What? Okay, this is just wrong. I'm sorry. I think it's supposed to be starlight can sometimes trick the eyes or something like that. I don't see any... oh! Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to walk on these. I can. Okay. Do I want to? Can I go back? Oh, I can if I jump over here. Hold on, let's do that. Yeah, I'm just back here. I'm just going to check out the other teleporters first. Oh dear, I hope this music might be uh, copyrighted or licensed, so I don't know about content ID claims on these. That would be kind of frustrating if it flags it over like a five second clip of a really, really famous song. A planet is part of the universe. It's possible to manipulate time and space from anywhere inside an un-universe. Definitely some grammar mistakes in this. Ah, well, I wasn't sure at first. I thought I had an open mind and thought that perhaps it's just meant to be a bit weird, but no. I think it's just some random typos and stuff. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I just jumped down. Yeah. And that was pretty much... Damn it. Where am I? Up here. Great. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I think that was all of the, uh, the teleporters. No? No, I didn't go to this one. Hold on, I need to try that. One of these jumps, I'm just gonna run out of stamina right as I'm jumping, and he's just gonna fall to his death. 
And this just seems to be... Oh, I see. Yeah, it just took me back. All right. So, we'll do this one last time, going up to the very top. Holy God! Jeez! Yep, I wasn't sprinting there because I wanted to save my stamina, but... That was a poor choice. Alright. I feel like I should end the episode. Ah. Uh, let's see, you can't get to this island yet. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna end it here for today, and then we'll continue on with this next time. It's very interesting so far. I'm really liking this, but I don't know where it's gonna go, how complicated the puzzles are gonna get, how complicated the uh, the platforming is gonna get, and what all of this will build up to. We'll see. We'll see. But I am intrigued, and I will keep playing, and I hope you'll keep watching. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.